Hello friends, this video on Air Around Us Part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Air, Air is present around us, Importance of Air, Composition of Air wherein we'll talk about Nitrogen, Oxygen, Carbon Dioxide, Smoke and Dust Particles. What's the scenario that you can think of when you think of air? So when air blows, what happens? You see the leaves of the trees moving from one side to the other. If you look at a vast stretch of fields, you can actually see all the plants, the crops, they are like waving with the wind. And what's wind? Wind. Nothing but moving air. When air moves, that, that's what we call as wind. When we have air in the room, let's say you are inside the room and you suddenly switch on the fan, what happens? Your hair starts moving from one side to the other. So that's also because of air. So you can feel the presence of air around you. Whether you are inside a room or you are in an open field or wherever you are, air is always around you. Now it is not necessary that air is moving every time so fast, but sometimes uh, the air is not moving but still it is there around us. So that's something that comes to your mind when you think of air. Just think of more instances. Let's say you keep a, leave a book open and you switch on the fan in the room. What happens? The pages start turning on its own, right? How does that happen? That happens. In fact, that tells you the presence of air in the room. So when you have air that it causes other objects, when air moves, it also make other objects move with it. Think of inflating a balloon. Let's say you have a balloon and you blow that balloon to a very big size. So what do you actually do to inflate it? You blow inside the balloon and as you keep blowing, it keeps increasing in size. So that happens because you are blowing in more and more air inside the balloon. So the balloon is filled with air and that's how it is increasing in size. So this again shows air is there. So what's there inside the balloon? Nothing but air. So you get a very big balloon filled, or filled with air. Flying a kite, another very interesting example among children. So uh, in, in a lot of festivals in India, we uh, do fly kites, right? So how do you fly kites? What happens? As soon as the kite goes high up in the sky, what happens? It starts moving in one or the other direction with the wind. So that happens due to the presence of air. Had there been no air, there would have been no wind. So your kite would have actually not flown that way. So there also you can feel the presence of air. If you have never tried, just try out flying a kite and you can actually feel that air is present. Because of the presence of air, your kite will move in some direction. So wherever the air moves. So there again you feel the presence of air. So what is air? So when we took so many examples which showed very clearly that yes, air is present around us and there were so many examples where we saw that yes, we, we have personally experienced air. But what is actually air? Is it something that we can see? Can we see air? Can you see what is, you can see the balloon definitely, but can you see what is there inside the balloon? So that thing is not seen, but you know that air is there, but you cannot see air. So it is an invisible gaseous substance that can only be felt so you cannot see it so that's why it is invisible you can't see gaseous substance so it is gas it is it is neither a solid like a rock or a piece of bread it is nor a liquid like water or milk but it is gas so it is like water vapor so that's an example of gas you think of hydrogen gas you think of oxygen gas these are all examples of gases so air is also a gaseous substance and it is not visible but we can feel it and we can feel it very strongly i mean the feeling tells us that yes it is there so as i told you the example of uh, inflating the balloon or the example of flying a kite when you fly a kite you don't see air air is not an object that can be seen but you can feel the presence of air when when your kite keeps moving in one or the other direction so then that time you can feel that air is present right so so that that's air so in this lesson we are going to talk mainly about 
what is present in air so as i said it is a gaseous substance but what are those gases which are present in the air is it just one gas or it is like multiple gases present inside it and how exactly air is made up of and how what is the importance of air so we are going to discuss all that in thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.